Welcome back. Now something that you can do to promote your previous live streams is to provide an end screen that gives viewers clickable access to them on a video that they are watching. So in order to do that, you're going to go up to your creator studio and you're going to open up the edit screen in one of your videos. Once you get there, you're then going to click end screen and annotations. Now YouTube is going to come to the very end of your video where you can place in your end screen or samples of your other videos or live streams. So for example, on the end screen, what we can do is click add element. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a video or a playlist. And we can do any number of things. We can either choose the videos, we can choose the most recent upload, or we can make the best choice for the viewer. And in this case, it's YouTube making that selection. So in most cases, we're just going to choose the video or a playlist. In this case, we're going to choose the video and this is how it's going to appear at the end of your video. We can move this video so that it appears in another part of the video, just in case this would block something that they're going to see at the end. We can also do is we can use other templates. So for example, what we can do is we can click use template. In this case, what we can say is we want to have two videos on our end screen. And so when we do that, we're then going to click select. And then this is going to replace the current end screen with the selected template. That means then that now what we need to do is we need to choose two different videos that are going to be part of the end screen. So we click inside, get one of the videos we want. Now when we do that, then YouTube is going to select the other video. You can go back to your template and you can actually create other views, including four videos. Now in this particular case, we're going to replace our current screen. We're then going to choose our videos. Once we do that, then YouTube will choose the other three that are going to be part of your end screen. So basically, now we've given clickable access to our other content as the individual is watching our recording. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.